fish and chips. It's the nation's favourite dish. But what I want to know is how much fat in there. So, should we have a quick look at this? Come down here. And, oh, doesn't that smell quite good? Isn't that lovely? Now the problem is that they fry all this stuff in a lot of oil and these have lots of types of fat in. What I want to do is take this entire portion, see how much is in there and what's going into our body. But what we need is something quite special. What we need is this. Now this is almost 100% ethanol, which is quite hard to come by. And what it's going to do is going to dissolve all the fat that's in this portion. Because normally, fat and oil don't mix with water, but ethanol will do the job. So what we need to do first is blend up this delicious portion of fish and chips. Say goodbye. And now I'm going to add in some ethanol. So there we go. So that's a little bit there. And that's going to make it a bit easier to mince all that up. There it goes. Oh, look at that. Mm, it's disgusting. Now, that is starting to look a bit like a bit like vomit. So let's have a bit more blending. It's a tiny bit more ethanol. You need quite a lot because it's got to dissolve all that fat. Now, by blending this up, we're actually increasing the surface area of the food, which means there's a greater chance that all that ethanol will mix with the fat and then it will dissolve it. So a bit more blending. <laughs> okay, and I think we're pretty much done. So let's have a look. There we go. That is absolutely delicious looking, but it's not just going to be the fat that's going to come out of there. So we need to strain all of the ethanol and the fat out of it. So I've got myself a big bowl and I've also got myself a tea towel. Put the tea towel over our bowl like this, and then we're going to empty all this horrible gunk into the tea towel. Oh, oh no. That is absolutely revolting. So, oh, there goes part of the blender. Be careful when you do this at home. Right, now I'm gonna pick up the corners and what I need to do is give that a good old squeeze. Oh, lovely, look at that. That is delicious. So that now is a mixture of ethanol, water, fat, sugar, and a bit of starch, which is the stored energy that you find in chips and potatoes. You can see that this tea towel, if we have a good look at this, the holes are actually slightly too big on it, which means the fish and chips are actually coming out through the tea towel. New tea towel. So let's have a quick look at this. Now already you can start to see that a lot of the liquids come out of that, and you're getting what is essentially a fat-free fish and chips, which is, uh, I guess, an ideal world, but do you really want to eat that? Probably not. No. So I'm about halfway through the straining process and uh, that is what we've got so far, which is pretty grim. But the amazing bit is what happens if we leave it overnight and the fats start to separate. Now the fats are actually less dense than the liquid underneath, like the ethanol and the water, and they'll start to rise to the top and separate. So this has been left overnight now, and as you can see, the results are pretty horrifying. Now, at the bottom here, this is still just a mix of ethanol and water, but as we go up the side here, you'll see it's all turned into this horrible, gunky fat. And you can see some of the thinner, more oily fats may have sat at the top in this orangey liquid here, and some of the dense, thick ones are all trapped in this big, murky layer at the bottom. Now, guys, that's, uh, that looks pretty rank, but... Um it turns out the average fish and chips in the UK has about 52 grams of fat in it, which is only about 10% of an overall portion. But if you look at that, then I think that says quite a lot. So just be careful about how much you eat and uh, enjoy your dinner.